What's going on guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, the commentary series where I sit down and talk about anything technology related. Now first of all, before I start the video, I just want to apologize for my irregular upload schedule. This video is going out pretty late today. I have just gotten back to school, I've been back for a week now, and it's kind of hard to balance uploads as well as schoolwork, so I'll try to bring videos out for you guys on a daily schedule at the same exact time. Also, you might be able to hear it in my voice, I'm starting to get sick. I hope it doesn't turn into anything worse than a cold, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out over the next couple of days. But anyway, let's get into the topic of our video. Before we start off, I want to ask you guys a question. If you had to take a Phantom 3 and mix it with a Mavic, what would you get? Well, here it is. This is a Phantom 3 modification, obviously. It has been going around the internet for the past couple of weeks now. It was first uploaded to the Phantom Pilots forum by a user that goes by the name of CIJI. As you can see, it's kind of like a play on words. It looks like a D, but it's actually CIJI rather than DJI. And basically, he posted this on December 14th, saying that he could transform a Phantom 3 into a Mavic. Now, this is a little bit bigger than the Mavic, but it still gives you the same body style, allowing you to fold all of the arms together. Before I go any further, I do have to say that this is not my video, I'll throw the link to the original video down in the description, as well as a link to the Phantom Pilots forum and a We Talk UAV page that pretty much goes over what I'm going to say, but is in writing. You may be wondering how this works, basically they take all of the guts, such as the motors, the camera, the gimbal, the VPS from a Phantom 3 and shove it into this 3D printed shell, and I have to say that the results are fairly impressive. It pretty much has all of the same specs that come from a Phantom 3, and it's not limited to just one version of the Phantom 3, you can use the Phantom 3 Standard, Professional, Advanced, or the 4K version. There are a few things about this modification that I have to say really do impress me, and the first is the steadiness of the flight. As you can see, when it's hovering there or just flying around, it is super steady, just like you'd expect a Phantom 3 or Phantom 4 to be flying. For them to take all of the guts and fit it into a different shell and still achieve the same steady flight is really impressive. The next thing on this list, and you'll see this test in a couple of seconds here, is that it's still compatible with the DJI GO app. And honestly, I would have expected for this modification to only work with like a separate app, or even not work with an app whatsoever, but somehow they were still able to make it compatible with the original DJI GO app, which is honestly a huge plus, and really will probably tempt a lot of people to buy this modification. The other thing that I have to say that kind of goes hand in hand with the DJI GO app is that it still has the same exact flight range as a regular Phantom 3, which is honestly, again, and super impressive when it has this little 3D printed shell. The fourth and final thing that really stood out to me is how smooth the camera is. If we look at a product straight from DJI such as a Phantom or a Mavic, we know that we're going to get a nice steady shot because they make some of the best gimbals on the market. But it really is impressive that they were able to transfer that steadiness right back into their modification. Now to answer a quick question, I know I'm going to get in the comments section below. This is only available for the Phantom 3 at the moment. CIJI on the Phantom Pilots forum did say that they're working on a Phantom 4 version, but again, no release date on that is really confirmed. Finally, you may be wondering about the price of this modification. It will cost you $40. It actually isn't on sale just yet, but CIJI did say that they're working on putting it for sale through eBay. So anyway, this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you think I should try this out. I don't own a Phantom 3, but I'm sure I could pick one up for fairly cheap through eBay or Craigslist and try out this modification. I think it'd be a pretty cool little video or maybe even video series to share with you guys. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.